Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and this is The Electric Singularity. Thank you for watching. It's great to have you with us. Now, if you can, if you'd like to, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you with us on board The Electric Revolution. And if you liked the video, leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. Now, solid state batteries, are they the real deal? You know what? There's a significant number of people, very intelligent people, who say solid state batteries are at least 10 years away. Now, why do they say that? From what the research I've done, solid state batteries are still very expensive to manufacture. And this is in fact the case with many amazing battery technologies, such as graphene based lithium batteries and a range of other impressive battery technologies, which we often hear about, which sound amazing, however, never really come to the market or come to any kind of fruition. The reason is price. You need to be able to manufacture your batteries at massive scale at a price the market can afford. Of course, this is what Tesla is focusing on with its new 4680 battery cells, cost and performance. The same goes for BYD with its blade battery cost and performance and safety. Now, recently it appears that solid state EV batteries are gaining ground against lithium ion batteries. Now, in the past, I wasn't a believer of solid state batteries, but now I am, and here is why. According to my research, solid state batteries ensure better energy efficiency, size compactness, lightness, and they have an increased running range as compared to the current range of lithium ion batteries. Now, I believe huge amounts of money are currently being poured into the development of solid state batteries. Therefore, I believe it is only a matter of time before they become viable. Now, Toyota leads solid state battery technology development with over 1,000 patents, and Nissan plans to develop its own solid state battery that will power a non-simulation vehicle by 2028. Sounds a long way away, but it's really not that far away. Seven years or less. Solid state batteries for electric vehicles have been making headlines for quite some time. As electric vehicles are becoming more mainstream with every passing day, owing to the growing concern about the environmental impact of vehicular pollution, stringent emissions norms the governments around the world are imposing, and rising fuel costs, EVs are witnessing a growing number of takers. Obviously, I believe no car will be on the market by 2030. That isn't an EV. I simply believe it'd be like kind of saying, hey guys, you can have a phone here, but we're going to power it with petrol. Would anyone want a phone powered by petrol? Hell no. So if you can get a phone powered by a lithium that is cheaper to service, cheaper to buy and is just better. Why would you buy a phone powered by petrol? Well, by 2030, no one will be doing so because the price of battery electric cars will be cheaper than their ICE gas powered counterparts. Now, several countries around the globe have already set deadlines for zero emission mobility. The countries are pushing e-mobility by introducing various subsidies for EV buyers and OEMs as well. Besides building charging infrastructure and spending on the development of electric mobility, the automakers too are adopting strategies to promote electric mobility. With lithium ion batteries being widely used as the power source for electric vehicles across the world, several automobile companies are currently focusing on introducing solid state batteries. One of those is VE Toyota, and another big player here is Volkswagen. Last year, Japanese automobile giant Toyota announced that it will introduce a game-changing solid-state battery in 2021, which will ensure a 500km range on a single charge and fast charging capability of zero to full in 10 minutes, or with minimal safety concerns. Obviously, this is not going to happen in 2021, but I believe it will happen in future. The latest OEMs to enter the space are Ford and BMW. They have announced to invest $130 million in solid-state battery startups. According to Ford's Chief Product and Operations Officer, Hao Tang, 
the automaker will be able to use a 100 amp hour solid state battery by 2022. BMW 2 is expected to see the same battery from 2022. This will be produced by the startup where both Ford and BMW are investing in solid state battery technology. Now, Toyota stands at the top of the global chart when it comes to solid state battery technology development, according to Toyota anyway. With more than 1,000 patents, Nissan 2 plans to develop its own solid state battery that will power a non-simulation vehicle by 2020 out. Now guys, obviously Toyota was being incredibly unrealistic when they said they would have one powering a car in 2020 21. That was never going to happen. I believe Nissan is being much more realistic. It's likely we'll see solid state batteries in cars between 2026 to 2030. 2021 and 2022 proposed by Ford and BMW is a little bit silly, let's be honest. However, why solid state batteries are becoming such a craze as compared to lithium ion batteries when the latter is powering the lion's share of electric vehicles around the world is because of the promise they hold and the potential they hold. Now, what is a solid state battery? A solid state battery is a technology that uses solid electrodes and a solid electrolyte. Instead of using liquid or polymer gel electrolytes that are found in lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries, which are used in most electric vehicles. Despite the solid electrolytes being first discovered in the 19th century, several headwinds, including low energy densities, have prevented its widespread application. Improvement of the technology in the late 20th and early 21st centuries brought back interest in solid state battery technologies, especially when electric vehicles are becoming the new norm since the 2010s and it's trending that way, obviously. Now, the solid electrolytes used in solid state batteries include materials like ceramics and solid polymers. Besides electric vehicle batteries, solid state batteries are also used in pacemakers, RFIDs and wearable devices. So why solid state batteries? Range anxiety is still a concern for buyers when it comes to making decisions about purchasing electric vehicles. Currently, the maximum distance an electric car can run on a single charge is 656 kilometers, which has been attained by the Tesla Model S. Now, obviously, the new Model S models and other new Tesla vehicles using 4680 battery cells will be able to deliver a greater range than that in 2022. And obviously other automakers will be able to do the same. So clearly automakers have been trying hard to extend the running range of their vehicles without recharging them. Hence the growing demand for better and improved battery technology. Now also solid state batteries are gaining ground against lithium ion batteries in the sense that they can be charged very quickly. And for some buyers, this is an issue. Some people don't want to wait around for 20 minutes while their battery charges. I personally don't see this as an issue, but evidently some people do. Now, this is the scale, the area where solid state batteries show enormous potential. By going to solid electrolyte from liquid electrolyte, the technology offers better conductivity ensuring roughly 25% to 30% improvement in power and energy density, and also compactness in size as well. Solid state battery technology will help in scaling up a multi-layer cell up to 20 amp hours. Also, solid state batteries are potentially safer with higher energy densities. Now, this may not be as much of an issue with new battery technology, such as the battery technology employed in the BYD's blade battery, which basically doesn't catch fire at all. Pretty impressive. However, for customers of electric vehicles, this means they can drive a vehicle a further distance without stopping for recharging, which is a huge benefit. Also with cells being smaller, the vehicle can become much lighter and accommodate more people. Obviously, this is a big benefit as most electric vehicles, electric vehicles are rather heavy. A lighter battery means better range, obviously. People also believe solid state batteries will bring down the cost per kilowatt hour, and this will speed up the adoption of battery electric vehicles in the coming years. It is my belief, guys, that solid state batteries will eventually be used in vehicles, but probably not, like I said, until 2026 at the earliest. Now, hurdles. Despite solid state batteries being safer, lighter, more energy dense, and having a higher power 
being able to develop more power, the biggest hurdle it, they face is much higher cost as compared to current lithium ion batteries. And I mean much, much higher cost. I mean, at this moment in time, the cost is not even realistically feasible. Obviously, solid state batteries are not being used by even supercar makers at this point. So the cost is enormous. At this moment in time, electric vehicles, for the most part, aside from those coming soon, in my belief, from BYD, are not in parity with ICE vehicles. Obviously, the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y are fairly much, fairly well in parity with their equivalent vehicles, which could be, say, the Audi Q5. That's a direct competitor for the Tesla Model Y. Or the Tesla Model 3, obviously, can compare directly with, say, the BMW 3 Series or an Audi A4. However, many buyers don't have the money to spend on that sort of luxury and are happy with something like a Toyota Corolla or an equivalently low-priced car. And that's what we need for the market. Once prices of solid-state batteries decline, come down, to being similar in cost to current lithium technology, I believe cars will deploy them in their vehicles. There's still a number of hurdles to get over, but I believe those hurdles will largely have been jumped within the next five years as batteries, as battery companies and automakers continue to invest heavily in the technology. It is my belief based on current prices for solid state batteries and where the technology is currently at, but they won't be used in vehicles until 2026 at the earliest. However, I, I believe over time as EV makers and battery companies invest more and more money into this technology, they, they will become solid state batteries will become viable and they will further push the electric revolution, electric cars, They'll push them further to the point where ICE vehicles simply will not be a realistic alternative to an electric vehicle. Remember, a mobile phone does not run on petrol. Guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. If you have any questions about this video, about solid state batteries, about anything else in the electric sphere, pop it in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for your support. Please remember to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.